Hi, it's Melissa from the AC Library, and in this final video of the Opposing Viewpoint series, I'll show you how to print, download, save, email, and cite the articles you hope to use for your assignment. Here's the page of an article we selected from our original search in the previous videos. If this one article is all you want, you can use these buttons in this menu, which I'll go over with you. After you've skimmed this, if you think it's good, you can just click on Save. You can do that here within the individual articles record, or back on the results page, you can simply click on save beside each article that looks interesting. That places each of these into a folder that's available here in this database during this session. To keep these to use later, you'll need to download the full folder to your Google Drive by clicking on More, selecting My Folder, checking All, then Download, and then selecting Google Drive. Now all of these articles will be saved for you even after you close this internet session. Okay, now if you just want to save this one article that you're looking at now, it's probably easiest to click on this download button. You can again select Google Drive, or you can save to OneDrive if you have access to that. It's a Microsoft cloud storage product. But to save somewhere else, like to your computer or a flash drive, choose between PDF or HTML, click Download, Save, and then if you're using Firefox like I am now, you'll need to click on this arrow and select the file. If you're in Google Chrome, it'll pop up down here in the bottom left of the screen. Then you can save it wherever you want it with whatever name works for you. Another feature that you can save to your Google Drive folder is the citation for this article, either in MLA style or APA style. Now be careful when you use citation tools in any database. This citation doesn't look exactly like yours will need to, and databases don't always keep their citation tools current. Right now, as I'm filming this, the 8th edition of MLA has come out, but this system is still using the 7th. Take advantage of the guides the library has put together for the three styles most commonly used at AC. For MLA, visit actx.libguides.com MLA. For APA, just put a slash APA at the end of that same address. For Chicago, which is also called Turabian, put a slash Chicago. But at least this tool can get you started just copy paste this into your document. I don't recommend using this download button because you won't be able to edit anything. Now if you've saved multiple articles there's an easy way to have the system create a bibliography of all of them for you. It saves it to your folder for this session which you can access here by clicking on more and here are the articles I've saved. I want to check all and now when I click on this citation tools button this menu pops up. Be sure to select the citation style that you're using. These first five menu options are programs that help you manage citations. They only work if you have them loaded onto your computer. But all of us can again take advantage of Google Drive. It'll show up in your Drive folder like a bibliography that you can edit. You can also select Email or Print to have all of these articles emailed or printed out all at once. When you use this email function, you'll actually receive a separate email for each source, but you will get them all. And the printouts will just be one after the other. I've talked a lot in this series about using the Google Drives folder. If you don't want to do that, you might consider simply emailing articles that seem promising to yourself. If you do that, you could copy and paste the citation for an article into this message area of the email. Then you'll have the article itself plus how to cite it all in one place. Just make sure to put your email address here before hitting send, and it can be any address. It doesn't have to be your AC account. If you've ever used Google Translator to convert a page into a language you can read, that's what this taps into. The translation won't be perfect, but at least you'll be able to get started. And then if you're super excited about this article and want to share it on your social media pages, you can do that here. Okay, that's it for Opposing Viewpoints, but if you have any other questions, or if you see something in here that you don't understand, be sure to come find us in the library. All of our contact information will appear on the next screen. Good luck with your research!